This is Andy Tube, and I'm very happy to be making this video. It's been a while, and I, I'm sure I'm a little rusty, but I wanted to show you some uh, new screwdrivers that I came across, because I'm pretty excited about them, and I think a lot of you will be interested. Uh, if you've watched some of my videos, you may have seen me use these type of uh, screw starter screw holder these are vintage uh, they were made by a company called HJJ in Los Gatos uh, California uh, use them to hold a screw so that I could uh, you know get it lined up and get it into the machine get it into a hole uh, to get it started you know screw holder screw starter and they're very handy in, in a lot of cases and uh, I had a couple of these given to me and one is a three millimeter wide and one's a four millimeter wide and uh, a lot of times when I have used these in a video comments have asked where, where can I get those and of course they're out of business a long time and you can still find some around here and there um, my wife actually picked up a few months ago she came across one and bought it for me at a a, a yard sale and it's a lot it's bigger it's like a 10 incher instead of this eight but it's a Phillips type look at that <laughs> see if I can get this uh, opened up there and I didn't even know they made these so that that was interesting to me of course there's not too many Phillips uh, uh, screws on these older vintage machines you know but um, I also did find one again a 10 incher um, 4 millimeter on eBay one time and uh, I prayed to pay to a it was an auction and I was determined to have it <laughs> so I uh, paid, a, paid a pretty good penny. I think it was almost 30 bucks with shipping. It's in really good shape, and I, I, I wanted to get a set together for my grandson. Is what I was hoping to do. But when you do find them, uh, they're going now for, you know, 25 bucks and up, and they seem to go pretty fast. So, um, anyway, I was on eBay for some other reason and somehow you know on the bottom of it says you're like previous searches and stuff it came up with these new kind of a screwdriver like this and they're made by the fire helm tool LLC and I said hey what what the heck is this and I went, I went to their website and I found out a little bit about them. And it's owned by a lady named Jessica McNamara. And she named this Firehelm Tool after a company her grandfather had in Iowa many years ago called the Firehelm uh, Manufacturing Company. And uh, like I said, she's the owner, and I and I saw them for sale, and I was a little concerned. Let me show you these. Of course, I ended up buying a set of three. I'll, I'll tell you all about what what's available and stuff. But this is the set that I bought from her and her company, and they're in this little envelope, and uh, they came very well you know packaged and, and shipped promptly and everything like that but before I had bought this I emailed her because I had some concerns about these are made out of a, with a plastic handle and the metal parts and the plastic plunger look the same but I was just like oh plastic handle you know, and, and I'm, I mean, I was born before plastics were big, right? <laughs> so I was like, oh. So there's a place to contact the company. So I did. I just sent off an email 
and, and, and I mentioned these vintage ones that I had and you know uh, were these similar and what about this plastic handle and stuff and and boy did she reply promptly she replied herself she explained about it and that the the metal parts are uh, spring steel just like the vintage ones and the same kind of plunger and the, and they work in just the same same kind of way uh, you know the easy to use where you just push them in and that separates the blades opens the blades enough to hold the screw so you can get it started or if it you have it loosened you can back it out without dropping it and uh, then of course to release you you do the same plunger type thing and it releases and she explained to me that this plastic is a is a uh, high impact po uh, polystyrene high impact polystyrene and that it's a, it's it's a strong and the and the tools are strong and you know and I so I replied back I said okay thanks thanks for all the info I'll think about it and I looked up I googled this polystyrene about it and the high impact polystyrene uh, they use in uh, like automobile uh, instrument panels dashboard kind of thing airplanes um, computer cases laptop cases um, lunch trays uh, gas tanks <laughs> there you go <laughs> I, I put down a few things uh, different different toys uh, TV and audio equipment um, components and housings and uh, they said, hey, that, that's better than I thought. That sounds okay. So, uh, I went to her website, as I said, and uh, let, me sh let me show you a picture from her website of one of these. It's a lot better picture. And... Uh, I, I looked at what they had and what they offered. Now, let me say up front, um, I'm not being paid by them. I paid for these tools myself. I bought them. She didn't even know I had gone ahead and bought them. And uh, she's not compensating me. I don't get a discount or anything, except uh, we all can get a discount for a while. And I'll tell you about that coupon in a little bit. But I wanted to let you know that. And I found out that they're um, made in the USA. And that appealed to me because I, I live in the USA. And I, I like the idea that I'm helping some company and some workers who are living here in, in my own country, you know. And... Uh, they offer three different types, of which I only have the one. I have the straight blade that are the same as the original uh, vintage ones that I had before. They're, they're called slotted, I guess. But uh, let me show you a slide of the three types she makes. So she has uh, red-handled ones that are the the um, slotted, and then she has a couple of blue-handled ones, and one is a uh, Phillips, which is that um, uh, I guess you call it angled blade, like this uh, vintage HJJ, and then she's got another blue-handled one that that is that. Um, a notched blade she calls it am I getting that right no notch notch blade maybe this one 
and the angle blade is a little different and she's she's got a patent pending on it and again I didn't order those because I, I really I'm not going to have much use for them for vintage sewing machines which is what I mostly work on but um, you can buy them individual any of those three styles and uh, she does offer some sets let me show you the sets So, you know, she's got sets of three, sets of five. I, th I think there was, uh, like, that, that set of five looks pretty interested to me with the three slotted and uh, the two different types of uh, Phillips. But um, I, I started with these, and I've given them a test, and they, they do work similar. I'm, I'm going to compare the two um, bec I, just because this is the only other style like the vintage I've ever seen. Okay. As I said, this these are a 4 millimeter wide blade. Like the tip is 4 millimeter wide. Like, like the original. Now the vintage ones do come in a 3 millimeter wide. A little bit narrower blade. And I actually had a discussion with her through all this is through email, and she is working on possibly putting out a line of these smaller ones. Okay, and uh, so that is a little bit different. Then I looked at the thickness of the blades, and I used my little uh, measurement. You've maybe seen this before, you know, where you you can measure stuff. And I measured, and uh, where the original spring, steel spring tips, I guess I'll call the tip of that blade when it's closed, is about 0.77 millimeter thick. Okay, and on these fire helm, they're thicker. They're like 1.07 millimeter thicker. So, I, what is that? Point, point three zero millimeter thicker steel. So there's an advantage to that, that that's a stronger. It's a heavier duty, which... I, I don't see any, you know, that's a good thing, I think. Now, a disadvantage of these uh, thicker tips is sometimes the slot on some of these screws on a vintage sewing machine have a very narrow or thin slot. And some of them, even the vintage tools can't get in. But many of them can, like, like this one, can get in there. But these uh, thicker tip uh, fire helm, they just they they can't get in there. They won't fit in these very narrow slots. So, um, like I said, that's a little bit of a disadvantage. Not a lot because there there are not a lot of these very thin uh, slotted screws. But but there are some. Uh, when I when I tested them on wide slot, they they work real well. And I tested it even on the the hinge screw for the uh, the feed regulator, which is you know big old two inch heavy duty, and it held it fine. You know, so they hold those fine just as good. Like I said, they operate the same. Um, you got your Longer screws, shorter screws, uh, different different types. Here's a smaller, thinner. I went around and pulled a bunch of screws off of our sewing machines. <clears throat> My wife said, you better remember where those go back. 
<laughs> but uh, any anyway, um, there there are some thinner, and uh, so what was that other one that it kind of surprised me a little bit? This is a this is a needle plate uh, screw from a Singer model 15. Okay, and uh, I took one of those out, you know, to play with it and test it. And uh, let's see, my my original um, HJJ ones, they worked fine for holding it, you know, to go to go up there on the machine and get it in there and get it started, which is always one of the tricky ones. But on the fire helm ones. I got it in the slot. The slot's fairly wide, but it's shallow, and I think it's a little bit angled because when I when I put this in, see it it just it just pops open. It won't grip the screw. I cannot hold this needle plate screw with it. And I've looked closely at the. See it just it just pops out. Whoops! Am I in frame there? And, and, and I tried all three sizes thinking, well, maybe one of the tips was malformed or something. But they always, uh, they all did the same. They'll go in, and they'll just barely spread, but when you let them go, they, they, the, the, it pops right off. So I've had that happen a couple of times only with the vintage. So that, that surprised me a little bit screws like I have little set screws I took off of stuff and you know they hold they hold just fine normal just like the other one thing my wife and I have been slowly doing was replacing the switch plates the cover plates for our electrical switches and outlets in our condo as they are approaching uh, they're over 40 years so, so a couple are cracked and they're kind of dingy so we we got some new nice ones and we're putting them on we got these little screws right <laughs> and uh, they're aluminum so you can't use a magnetic <laughs> screw holder so I was using the vintage ones to to get them started and then my uh, wife grabbed one of the fire helms and she replaced all the ones in the kitchen with it so I mean there's not just vintage sewing machines that these these will work on and uh, I tried it on this little itty bitty screw here uh, let's see if this if this was one that it worked on See, there's a couple. It's usually these chrome type screws that are very shallow, and I think the slot is tapered. And that's why these. Here, this one it gripped. Okay. But like I said, that. that um, the, the slot for the needle plate, it just seems uh, slanted. And a little bit shallow, and it'll go in and, and spread, but as soon as I let it go, it just boink, pops off. So, it's a, a minor annoyance with that. And like I said, I've, I've had that with some screws and the vintage ones. Um, the other thing about this was they don't, the handles don't conduct electricity. And... Uh, I think I think that's a good idea. I changed a couple components. I built a computer about ten years ago, and I changed out the fans and was adding more memory. And I used these uh, actually inside to do some testing while the computer was running, and I felt pretty <laughs> pretty good about it. Instead, of not using the brass, you know, they're a little more insulated. And I'm going to try now. These are hexagon shape right where where of course the the original vintage brass ones they're round 
and I measured this white part of this handle on the points of the hexagon at like uh, 9.3 millimeter and these round handles they're only 6.5 uh, millimeter so there was a couple of machines I could think of like a couple of the fashion mates where you have to go through a hole up in the top of the head to get in to release like the tension stud and stuff and these uh, skinnier um, 6.5 millimeter they could go down in the hole and do that and I and I know that these 9.3 millimeter they're not going to be able to to go down in there you know they're a little bit too too big for that so you know every tool has its limitations right but I was happy to find these and, and the prices I'll let you look at the website you know for the for the prices oh wait I wanted to show you the other thing I'm hoping this will show up if this will focus but there's a light texture like an orange peel type texture to this uh, high impact polystyrene so that it's not smooth you know and slippery it's got a, a nice little texture there that it feels good like it's not going to slip and of course since it's uh, a hexagon it has six little points there for uh, turning and stuff too so it's a it's a well designed handle you know and uh, I started to say you can look on the website for the for the cost the different uh, cost of individuals I think one is it's like 14 or 15 bucks for one and then you can get a set of three for 30 something you get a set of all five for 40 something or the low 50s um, so the, the price is comparable or much less you know than than like the ones I see sold if, if you search eBay for the sold like in the last three months of these you'll see the prices up there once in a while you see somebody who was lucky 20 bucks you know but most of them are mid 20s to 30 and a couple above you know I think words gotten around a little bit about these and they're desirable and uh, more people are working not only on vintage their own vintage sewing machine but their own other home appliances and crafts and, and uh, computers and home repair and maintenance and stuff like that that they realize wow this this is good you know and and there's other types of these uh, spring holder you know Klein makes a set of three that has the, the old quick wedge company they bought which was like the 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 actual shaft of the screwdriver was kind of like split in two and it has a puller bar when you when you push it down it it pinches those two parts together and as you pull it back it separates them and so it's got a handle and this pusher bar and stuff and these just always seem so so easy to me you know just hold it push it in start it get it down where you want it and you can either push the button in the back or often I just pull it right out and uh, so I'm, I'm happy with these I'm probably gonna buy some more and uh, I I'm probably get some Phillips just for projects around the house the computers have a lot of uh, Phillips type screwdrivers too, the fans and things like that so um, now about this uh, coupon I talked with her and she volunteered this to me that she'll offer 10% uh, off everything on her website for 30 days so I've got to kind of coordinate it with her but the day I release this video as public um, we'll start the 30 day clock and you'll be able to uh, 
use a coupon AT10, AT10. So like Andy Tube 10. And get 10 and get 10 percent off okay so if you want to buy some or if you just you know if you just want to buy one or maybe you have some of these and you want a couple of her Phillips you know uh, you can give them a try now that I've mentioned them and you can you know try them for yourself and see what you think I mean I'm not the be-all end-all of a tool knowledge and critics and stuff but when I find a tool that I like or find usable I like to share it. I've shared a couple screwdriver sets over the years and ultrasonic stuff and things like that. So uh, I'll flash that coupon again and the website which is just fhelm.com for firehelm.com I can't link out of the video, but below in the description I can give you a link and I'll mention the coupon again. And uh, if, you, if you have um, questions or maybe questions about that new type of Phillips, there's a contact uh, place on her website you know for you to email and she was very re responsive to me and she was very open to my questions and uh, quickly responded when I mentioned about a coupon she said oh and you know like the next day she goes hey let's do a, I'll do a 10% coupon for 30 days and I'm like great thank you you know <laughs> So that's that's my uh, deal with these new uh, fire helm uh, tool uh, screw holder because I looked this up online with a few of those services. How do I pronounce that? Fewer helm, uh, fewer helm, and one thing it said it was German for fire helmet. <laughs> But I asked her, I asked Jessica, you know, hey, I'm, I'm going to say your name, so don't let me mess it up. How do you pronounce it? And she said back, yeah, it's, it's a few different ways, but we just say Fire Helm. I said, wow, that's easy. So Fire Helm Tool and uh, fhelm.com. Okay, that's what I got to share on this video. Thanks a lot. Boy, it just felt like old times doing a video again. <laughs> if you only knew how uh, pleased I am to be able to do this. Okay, so thanks for tuning in. And uh, we'll see you sometime in the future. Huh?